Hey guys, Lacey here, and I am in my garden today. It's Wednesday, that means work Wednesday, and I wanted to just share some of the things that I do in my garden with you guys. So, let's go. As you can tell, I kind of um, skipped work Wednesday last week, and so here I am trying to work Wednesday today. So I usually just choose one day a week to kind of go through and pick out some weeds. I let it go over there. So this Wednesday is going to be a long Wednesday. I used to use one of those little squirt bottles for um, bug control. I would always come out here every morning and every evening and just look through my plants and see if I saw any squash bugs or those blister bugs or just any hornworms or anything like that. But now I had this brilliant idea. Why use a squirt bottle when I could use that thing? And it holds about a gallon. Um, and I usually only use dish soap for my bug control. Um, I don't really like to use a lot of chemicals just because my kids are out here and they touch things and they put their hands to their mouth all the time. So I like to use dish soap. I'm more comfortable with them touching things and putting soap in their mouth, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I use, and I found some squash bugs just now, and so I'm gonna show you what it does to them. The bugs don't actually live very long after you spray them. It takes about a couple of seconds, maybe 10, maybe 20 seconds, and they're dead. This one has already died. other two have already died we're just waiting for the mama to die but usually they do pretty quickly and there we go it's just dish soap and water guys another tip that I like to do is with my zucchini I like to prune them um, basically get rid of all the underlying leaves that are fighting for sunlight I just I just get rid of them and then it's so much easier to check for bugs to weed them and also easier for bees to pollinate. And then it looks kind of like this. I can get in here, I can look for bugs, I can check for bugs. Um, weeds better. So that's what I'm going to do to this entire row of zucchini plants. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So now my zucchini has plenty of room to grow and like this guy was infested with those little squash bugs and so I probably should take this one and this one off. I'll probably do that. Hi little spider. Anyway, it looks so much better. That is my tripod for my camera so don't pay attention to that. Alright, another helpful um, thing that I use in the garden is Epsom salt. This isn't typically the actual brand that I use, but it's all I could find the other day at the store. Um, I usually do this once a week, and it basically helps them green up. For tomatoes, it actually makes the tomatoes sweeter. So, I mean, lots of helpful things from Epsom salt, um, but it's what I do once a week. So not only do I use Epsom salt to help my plants, I also use composted manure. I like to put it on the ground before I even plant, but this year things just happened super quickly and I always just like to have a bucket of composted manure next to our garden. So then whenever it's work Wednesday, I usually just add a little bit here and there and that's it. You will actually see a lot of these Apparently the kids didn't take one of the stickers off, but you'll see a lot of these in my garden even Here's an actual banana peel, but um, 
we're a family of eight and we eat a lot of bananas. We eat, eat a lot of eggs. We eat a lot of oranges. So a lot of the banana peels, the orange peels and the eggshells, they go into our garden just directly into it instead of composting it, which keeps away bugs. It repels the bugs, guys. I usually, it's really windy out here, so there might be a lot of wind noise. I don't know, but usually I do all the work in the mornings, like early mornings. Hi, Em. Or late evening, so I don't get like sun exhaustion. Um, but I did it today because we got a whole bunch of things going on. Um, but I want to talk about tomatoes. So usually our tomatoes get really big and bushy. And so what I do is go through, pull all the suckers, and get everything off the bottom. Hair, so everything. My earring was sticking to your hair. Oh my goodness. I'll do this. Thanks. You're so sweet. I love you. I love you too. Is this your swimming suit? No, it's not. Ready? So, yes. So, what? Exercising too? <laughs> yes. Always. Always. I love you. Are you ready to go swim? Yeah. Okay, why don't you go get your swimming suit on? I'm go swim. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> tomatoes, I really just like to trim them up maybe a little bit too much um, another thing that I really just think about is if you have all these leaves the pollinators cannot even get to the flowers so I always try to make the leaves kind of um, just basically prune it I guess you know you take the suckers off and then any leaves at the bottom okay so normally my tomatoes would like look like this uh, big and bushy, which is not terrible, but I like to make them look like this because this would have been hidden and Bugs would not be able to get into there. Well, they could but not very easily So I like to make everything easy on them and I just trim them up and then I take this woven wire and it's usually pretty long and Wrap them in a circle and I've used these for about three years now. I don't know. They look pretty bent out of shape, but it works so all the trimmings that I get off of these, I can actually make into new tomato plants. You could probably do this one. This one would probably be really good to use. And you just put it in a jar of water and watch it go. Cause all this little, um, all of that stuff right there will become roots. So anyway, so new plants, I always like to use that. So another thing that I like to do with gardening is companion plant. Um, basically letting it help each other. Like um, beans grow good with tomatoes and marigolds, just plant those everywhere. Um, and this year I did something a little bit different. I actually lined my garden with onions. And Basically, I will go through, chop off all the onion heads and throw them into the garden and it repels bugs naturally. And I would have to say, I hope, I'm not like jinxing anything, but I'd have to say that this year I've not had a lot of problems with a lot of, you know, stink bugs, um, blister bugs, squash bugs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I actually haven't had a terrible time this year, which I was super, super excited about. And I think that that could be it. I'm not sure, but it's cool to think it is. I'm gonna try to keep on weeding. We've got all of this to the tomatoes done. Now I need to move over there. Can we go swimming? Cause it's really hot. I think that's a good idea. All right, besides the wind, I really hope you like this video of me just sharing some of the tips that we use in our garden. And if you have any tips, please share them with me. I really like to learn about gardening. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of gardening, I just like to learn about all kinds of gardening. That's one of the reasons why I really like summer is because I get to be outside all the time working in a garden. And so we're gonna go swimming. So we want you to like, we want you to subscribe, and come back and see us. God bless, and we'll see you next video. Bye.
the biggest one, huh?